subscribe to our YouTube channel, and turn on notifications for the latest updates. Hurricane Delta is intensifying again in the Gulf of Mexico now back up to Category 2 status with winds of 105 miles an hour and a minimum pressure of 968 millibars as of 11 a.m. Central Time October 8, 2020. The storm is expected to become a major hurricane again later today and weakens slightly before making landfall in Louisiana tomorrow. Delta is currently located at 24 degrees north, 92.7 degrees west, and is a stage 5 on the CDPS scale, major damage possible at the landfall area, which is expected to be just east of Cameron, similar to where Laura made landfall, although a bit to the east. Distance of miles right now from land, Cameron, Louisiana is 348 miles away, Lafayette and Lake Charles are both 373 miles away, and Port Arthur, Texas, where a hurricane warning is also in place, is 356 miles away from the center of the storm right now. These are all going to close down in the next day as the storm quickly approaches land, currently moving at 15 miles an hour. There's a lot of warnings in place right now, a hurricane warning in High Island, Texas to Morgan City, Louisiana, a tropical storm warning in effect from west of High Island to San Luis Pass, Texas, and east of Morgan City, Louisiana to the mouth of the Pearl River, including New Orleans along with some other locations that also have tropical storm watches, storm surge warnings, and watches as well. You'll see that in a graphic later in this video. Here's the GFS's latest run showing the precipitation and cloud cover of the storm. You can see it move inland over western Louisiana tomorrow evening. Now, the landfall expectation time has been pushed back to Thursday evening around 7 p.m. Central Time for the latest National Hurricane Center forecast. Yesterday evening, we were looking at a landfall time of Thursday and closer, or Friday, I'm sorry, closer to 1 p.m. So it's a significant change that's going to have implications, of course. We're going to be watching that very closely. Here are the sea surface temperatures you can see. Not much of a hindrance right now, of course, but they are expected to get colder as the storm moves further north towards the coastline, along with ocean heat content dropping off. That, alongside an increase in shear, should weaken the storm somewhat before it makes landfall tomorrow, but it's still going to be a very dangerous and powerful storm nonetheless, bringing, of course, at least Category 1 strength winds. Here's the latest GFS run again showing the wind speeds of the storm. You can see those hurricane force winds in yellow, the tropical storm force in green, moving inland tomorrow, covering a significant area from parts of Texas all the way closer to eastern Louisiana. It could be larger or smaller than this right now, though. All the warnings, un all the areas under warning should be taking proper precautions ahead of the storm. The time to prepare is basically running out as today ends, so make sure you're getting all your preparations done today ahead of impacts from the storm, as conditions will deteriorate quickly as we head into tomorrow, and you won't really have time to prepare at that point. Chance of tropical storm force winds look like this for the storm right now. Cameron, 97%. Lafayette, 92%. Lake Charles, which is a bit to the west of Cameron, 93%. And Port Arthur in Texas right now is at 84%. So all these areas are very likely to get tropical storm conditions from this storm. They should be taking the proper cautions right now. If you're in low-lying areas, make sure you're paying attention to evacuation orders too. Here's the National Hurricane Center forecast. Can you can see those Washington warnings. The red is hurricane warnings, blue is tropical storm warnings, and that yellow over there is a tropical storm watch. We're basically pretty clear cut where the worst impacts are going to be at this point in time. If you're in that hurricane warning, you should be taking extra precautions as you should. Make sure you have your hurricane plan in place and ready as the storm is expected to make landfall tomorrow evening now. And here's the latest graphic for tropical storm force wind speed probabilities in the National Hurricane Center. All those areas in purple above 90% odds, those areas are extremely likely to see storm conditions as we head into tomorrow. Although it is always important to remember this graphic that storm conditions and damaging conditions will extend far outside of the storm surge, of course, is going to be a significant issue on the coastline for one, along with significant rainfall going very far inland as well. Here's the latest satellite imagery of the storm. You can see it looking much more better than it was last night when it was back down at a Category 1 strength storm. Intensification is expected to continue today back up to major hurricane strength as an eye is trying to pop out on visible for one of the first times in this storm's life. Stay tuned with us for more updates. We'll be giving more coverage as the storm makes its final approach to the United States. On our outlets, force13.com for web articles and the live cyclone tracker. You can also find us here on YouTube if you're not watching here already. Make sure to subscribe. We're also on Facebook. It's Force13 to find our latest posts there. And we're also on Twitter. It's at Force13 to ask us a question on that platform. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. More information can be found at patreon.com forward slash force13. Or you can become an ultimate fan right here on YouTube for perks and to directly support the project and our future endeavors in these times. You can also find us on Discord to communicate with us on our Discord server. Link is in the description below and you can message Fool13 at extension 9094.